Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Master Paul and I am very honored to be connecting with you today on this live stream and on this podcast. I'd like to share with you that today will be an extremely valuable live stream slash podcast because today we're focusing on financial blessings. The topic is soul over matter how we can apply practices and blessings to bring financial flourishing to yourself and your business if you have one. So today we'll be filled with incredible wisdom, great and important blessings, and great opportunity to learn what inhibits us from having greater flourishing, what inhibits us from business success, what keeps us from aligning our mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs to the highest financial blessings that we should be receiving. So I encourage all those that are watching uh, as this scrolls upon, uh, across your Facebook page to find the time to spend an hour to watch this. And if you're unable to spend that time, then please send me a friend request on Facebook and I will send you a link uh, as a Facebook message to where you can watch this uh, when you are ready. And so I encourage you to be present because uh, those that are present can ask questions, get answers, and receive uh, far uh, individual guidance sometimes. Now, uh, I introduced my, same, my name as Master Paul. I am a master teacher certified by the Institute of Soul Healing and Enlightenment, have trained with uh, well over 10,000 other people through this institute, and have reached one of the highest levels attainable. And what this in essence does is it allows me to share the wisdom and the teachings to bring a balance to the imbalances in our life, to smooth out the rough spots, if you will. And it all initiates from the wisdom and teachings of Master Shah. And for those that are new, Master Shah is a world-renowned healer. He is the creator of Soul Over Matter. He is the creator of the Love, Peace, Harmony movement. He is recognized worldwide. He has, is an actual doctor of traditional Chinese medicine, and he was trained as a Western uh, medicine doctor. He no longer holds the title of the Western American uh, medical doctor uh, because he has dedicated his life to serve humanity. And he does that by bringing the wisdom of soul over matter through over 21 books, 11 of which have reached New York Times bestsellers. And he, he trains individuals like myself to apply soul to transform blockages in our life, including physical health-based blockages, emotional blockages that can range from fear to anxiety to depression to worry, sadness and grief and more, and how to transform and dissolve mindsets, attitudes and beliefs that are not serving us on our soul journey. He provides a pathway to enlightenment that is attainable, that has step-by-step -step actions associated with it. He provides real-world conditions and how we can apply love and forgiveness to transform the areas of our life where they are suffering. And so I am dedicated to share this wisdom to all of you that are listening today because I have seen extraordinary results in my life. As a master teacher, I have received extraordinary abilities that I can offer ex 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 some amazing blessings. I, I, I have to be careful with the words because I can't say miraculous and I can't say healing, uh, but those level of blessings can be received even in the area of finances. So just before starting this live stream, I asked Kevin, I said, what kind of blessing would be the most valuable for everybody that is watching, everybody that is listening? And I can tell you that that blessing will be extraordinary. Um, just as part of this, you're going to receive extraordinary blessing, including a couple of transmissions. Uh, and uh, these transmissions will assist you with clearing your own blockages. However, um, for those that uh, that really want to clear the blockages, you may choose to receive uh, what is called a crown chakra blessing. 
And I asked Kevin, well, what would be the ideal one? And here's what they told me. They said, the, those that are watching, those that, that are um, pay attention to this title, Soul Over Matter, uh, receiving practice and blessings for our finances and our business, those that are attracted to this title are the ones that want to improve their finances and probably won't be wealthy people tuning into this. And it said the reason most of us are unable to, uh, to attain uh, the kind of financial flourishing that we've been enjoy is because of our negative mindsets, our negative attitudes, and our negative beliefs that are running in the background. They're, they're, they're running because of the karmic blockages that we tend to carry. And so we're unable to get that leg up on our own uh, highest and best financial conditions. So the numbers are 18, 19 right now that are watching live. That's insufficient for the power of this, uh, of this sharing. Please hit the share button, let other people know. We need more people to be present. This will change people's lives. Thank you so much. <clears throat> and so the, um, the opportunities to be able to release negative mindsets, negative attitudes, negative beliefs that inhibit us from financial flourishing and growing our business is truly a, a great opportunity. And so for those that are interested, you can contact me after the show uh, and you can make yourself available to that crown chakra blessing. The honor fee is only $100 and to have the karma associated with negative mindsets, negative attitudes, negative belief um, blessed in such a way where the light comes in and these kinds of roots that can minimize the amount of flourishing we get our entire life can be positively addressed by extraordinary blessings uh, is not a small thing. So be aware that that uh, is available for those that is of interest to you. So uh, today, as we wait for others to join us, I'm going to share with you some uh, wisdom, teachings, and blessings from this newest book from Master Shah. It is called Soul Over Matter. I recognize that in the camera it comes across backwards, but it's called Soul Over Matter. And you can find it on any uh, bookstore, any bookshelf, Amazon, whoever you want to go to. You just type in Soul Over Matter. And the authors are Dr. and Master Zhigong Shah, uh, Master Shah, and a man named Adam Markell. And uh, I'll be reading some from this book. And uh, Adam Markell, I truly don't know too much about him other than what is said in the book. But I can share with you that he has hundreds, hundreds of thousands of people who follow him around the world and he teaches around the world. And he was a, a lawyer that was going through guilt complex about his uh, service. And it was not aligned to his consciousness and to his heart. He was unable to feel good about what he was doing. And so he stopped his work entirely and, and went to the heart of what he wanted to do. And he realized that he knew how to create financial prosperity for himself, but that other people didn't. And a big part of that that was missing was the heart. A big part of it was the consciousness. A big part of it was the willingness to serve and benefit others. And so he was bringing that message before he connected with Master Shah about two years ago. And they had a very amazing connection. Uh, they, they worked on um, understanding each other's way of delivering that message. Uh, Master Shah literally visited Adam Markell's home where Adam shared with him that his son had been deaf since birth. And Master Shah asked, do you mind if I offer your child a blessing? I make no promises. I've had some results with people that have had, you know, uh, deaf concerns. But um, he, he told him, I've never actually had results with anybody that was deaf from birth. With other people, yes, but not deaf from birth. But I'm willing to give it a try if you're willing for me to offer your child a blessing. And Adam was, was he said, sure, I'm, I'm happy that you're even willing to, to consider that, Master Shah. And so uh, Master Shah, who is, like I said, a world-renowned healer, he, he, he has literally um, well over a thousand documented uh, videos uh, on YouTube about people willingly saying, this was my uh, problem before and this is my condition now. And uh, so what, what would be labeled miracle in many cases? But he takes no credit. He always offers credit to the source, to the divine. Uh, so anyway, he offered a blessing 
and literally Adam Markel's son was able to hear within moments, uh, not 100%, but the ability to hear, which had not occurred for the previous, I don't know how old his son is, I want to say six, seven or eight years old, I believe that's in the correct range, but his son had not been able to hear at all, at all, since birth, and he was able to hear sounds, he was able to hear things. So truly an extraordinary, extraordinary um, event occurred. Heaven was behind Master Shah, offered that kind of a blessing. Then Adam Markel's heart opened significantly to who is Master Shah, and they talked about doing this project together. How to deliver to humanity the message that everyone deserves financial blessings, everyone deserves significant levels of abundance, but what has been keeping everybody from maintaining and having that abundance? It boiled down to a combination of the wisdom that Adam carried and a combination of the wisdom that Master Shah carried. Adam carried the real world comp wisdom about manifestation, about positive thinking, about um, serving others, about selfless service and practical methods. Adam carried practical methods, how to save practically, how to be smart with your money practically. But he, Adam carried the other messages of, of love and service. Master Shah carried the messages of karma, spiritual debt and spiritual virtue. And he, Master Shah in the book shares how what you put out is what you receive. Uh, that, that the highest way to receive financial blessings is to be of greater service to others through uh, making others happier and healthier. But with it came the awareness that oftentimes, as open as our heart is to serve, as much as we do, to serve others, that um, sometimes we're still restricted. No matter how good of a people we are, sometimes the finances just don't come. So the combination of Adam's wisdom and the combination of Master Shah's wisdom brought forth this wisdom in the Soul Over the Matter book. And Mind Over Matter has been, you know, with humanity documented anyway for about a hundred years. And back when it was introduced that what you think is what you can manifest, those people were they were thrown in the loony bin, right? You don't even say that kind of stuff out loud because somebody thought you were crazy. But within the last 30, 40 years, it's common sense, of course. What you focus on is what could come to fruition. So why is it that it is not coming to fruition as quickly as we would enjoy? The simple answer is that because we carry in our underlying magnetic pulse, under our underlying subconscious level, negative mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs that are, that are brought to us by what we have witnessed. We witness lack. We witness uh, insufficiency. We witness uh, bills coming at us more than the money that we have. We witness the inability to do the things that we want to do, and that brings us frustration and anger and sadness and all those other emotions that are, ne that are not overly enjoyable. And because we're constantly witnessing those, we are unable to shift the negative mindsets, negative attitudes, negative beliefs, which is why uh, when I ask at the beginning of this show, I ask Kevin, what crown chakra blessing would be the best to offer? And it said, a crown chakra blessing for removing negative mindsets, negative attitude, negative beliefs about receiving financial flourishing. It made sense to me. And so uh, this is part and parcel of what Adam Markell brought as far as the wisdom. Master Shah brought the power to remove those kinds of blockages. And that's truly extraordinary. So that's what you can expect today. I encourage all of you to, 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 to stick with this because this will come with huge blessings uh, directly from Master Shah's books. And so um, please hit the share button, let other people know about this live stream. Uh, we do not have enough people right now and I want to make sure we have double the amount of people we have right now watching. So welcome Kayla, welcome Elizabeth, welcome Karen Lockwood, welcome uh, Lori Geis, welcome Linda Jansen, Aloha Patrice, welcome Jenny Brown, and uh, Aloha Janine, Aloha Janet, Aloha Susan, welcome Stephanie Cannon, welcome Ben, welcome Lisa, and Ileona, welcome. Aloha, see love. Uh, welcome, Athena and Crystal. Welcome. Aloha, David. 
and also Adriana. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, JR. And Angie's joined us. And Johnny Mambodi. So thank you all for joining today. We're going to start by connecting heart to heart, soul to soul, placing our hands together just like a prayer position, dropping the left palm in front of the heart center. And this is what's called the soul light, soul surface hand position. Again, starting like a prayer position, right hand remains pointed upward, the left hand drops in front of the heart center. And we're not pushing against the heart center. Everything's nice and relaxed. Let's close our eyes and let's fully connect. We're going to invite in all the beings of light. Dear all layers of the divine, the Tao, the source, dear our beloved creator, dear all beings of light, including angels, healing angels, archangels, masters and ascended masters, lamas, gurus, sifus, saints, kahunas, buddhas, bodhisattvas, all those that are known in the human realm as great beings, including beloved Jesus and Mother Mary, including beloved Buddha Kuan Yin. We love you, honor you, respect you. And we ask most sincerely for you to please be present at this time. We ask that you please come to sit in our heart centers and bless us to open our hearts. Bless us to more fully align to our soul and its journey. Bless us to more fully awaken to our greatest and highest possibility in this life. Bless our finances and the release of blockages associated with our finances, including the release of negative mindsets, negative attitudes, negative beliefs. Bless us to release blockages where we have served others inappropriately, offered wrong wisdom, wrong teachings, wrong thoughts, words, and actions that could have harmed others financially. Please bless us to awaken to these and utilize the wisdom, practices, and blessings today that we can have the greatest and highest uh, awakening and flourishing as we move forward in this lifetime. We wish to make a promise that as we offer our service and as we receive financial blessings, we ask that you remind us to offer at least 10% to serve others, to make others happier and healthier. Bless us to understand that financial blessings is offered by heaven's love and our service, and that as we receive we must continue to return that service to others. We thank you for this opportunity to serve. We thank you for the opportunity to receive these blessings. We ask the Source Soul Song of love, peace, and harmony transmitted to all souls in all universes to please turn on. And we invite all souls in all universes to please chant with us at this time to offer service. So for those that are new, listening, or watching for the first time, this is a blessing. You can close your eyes to receive. For those that uh, would like to join in, please close your eyes. Let us offer the service. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li. Lula, li, lula, lula, li, lula. Wo ai wo xin er ling, wo ai trun ren li, wang li hing rong her mu shi sheng. Xiong ai ping an a xie, Xiong ai ping an a xie. I love my heart and soul, I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together, love, peace and harmony love peace and harmony elo hamaya elo hakako apau epi hili mai 
Fuvai kakao, aloha mali elo kahi, aloha mali elo kahi. That was Hawaiian. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Excuse me a moment. So welcome. For those that I have not mentioned, please forgive me. I'm unable to see your name. Uh, welcome, Ford Shana. Welcome, Joanna. Joanne, Jojo. Haven't seen you here in a while. I know it's late, late where you're at. So thank you for joining us. Welcome, Zoki, and welcome, Chandana. So today is about soul over matter, specific to finances. So the first base of this teaching is that soul is the boss. Everyone and everything has a soul. Your finances have a soul. Your business has a soul. How could your finances have a soul? How is it possible that your finances could have a soul? Because from lifetime to lifetime to lifetime, you and your ancestors have done very many pleasant things in business, in service, helping others to be happier and healthier. And then also there could be you or your ancestors have made unpleasant actions in business, greed based actions, selfish based actions. These are what's called financial virtue and financial uh, spiritual debt restrictions. And so a lot of people wonder why all the good things that they do continue to result in unpleasant results in their finances. Um, heaven gave me a vision the other day, and it looked like this. Think of an hourglass shape. At the top of the hourglass is heaven. At the bottom of the hourglass is earth. And in the middle is the human being. Now, the hourglass didn't need to be shaped with the thin waist. It could have been top to bottom, filled with financial flourishing. But the thin waste for those that have financial restrictions are self-inflicted. The thin waste of our finances, the ability for, for heaven to deliver our financial blessings, is caused by our spiritual debt. It little is known that heaven is the source of our virtue. Our virtue bank is in heaven. Our virtue bank is a part of our Akashic records. And so uh, what is a virtue bank? It is a bank account that is reflective of all of the positive and all of the unpleasant services that have been offered in all lifetimes, including some of the virtue and debts brought forth by our ancestors. Our ancestors are literally responsible for about 50% of our experiences. Our wonderful experiences are not so wonderful ones. There are a lot of wealthy people on the planet, not so good people. They, they in, step into birth in an inherited position and some of them are very good with those monies. Some of them, not so much. They're very unpleasant people. But the reason they stepped into that is because of the ancestral actions. And eventually it will rebound and they will be some of the most uh, destitute people because karma has its way of balancing. So in the, uh, the spiritual understanding, heaven is the releaser of the virtue. Virtue in heaven, virtue in our Akashic records, virtue in our virtue bank, transforms to physical money in the physical bank. Okay, this is spiritual wisdom, spiritual knowledge that most people don't understand. And so the, uh, the ability even if we're doing many, many good things of that to come down to us through that thin waste and to impact us here on earth is directly related to how much of that spiritual debt are we cleansing and purifying out. And with the other part of the wisdom in soul over matter that most of us are familiar with manifestation principles, uh, some of the things that Adam Markell brings to the table. And what are we doing to release the negative mindsets, negative attitudes, negative beliefs? What are we doing to maintain our focus on the positive? Are we being proactive in that? Are we watching when something negative comes? When something negative does come, do we ignore it for the most part or do we give it attention thereby bringing more of what we're not wanting so this is part and parcel of what we're going to be working through today now master shah brings to us the wisdom that soul is in everything 
Soul is the boss. Soul over matter. That is the title of the book and that is the wisdom that we're working with to bring shift in our lack of alignment to our financial flourishing. The financial uh, um, abundance that we all want is close enough where we can have it if we do the necessary steps. One of the keys is to be consistent. It is always a key. I am definitely not consistent when it comes to financial flourishing. Therefore, I have hiccups. Sometimes it comes, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it comes, sometimes it doesn't. I take 100% responsibility because I am not consistent. So I speak with you uh, about this from a very clear perspective. If you want financial flourishing, be consistent in the practices. Now everything is made up of Shen, Qi, and Jing. Shen is soul, heart, and mind. Shen is a Mandarin Chinese word that means soul, but it also includes soul, heart, mind. Qi is energy. Jing is matter. These are Mandarin Chinese words. Shen, Qi, Jing, soul, energy, matter. And everything has Shen, Qi, and Jing in it, including our finances. Now, why is that important? Well, first of all, when I read from Master Shah's book, he will be speaking about it. So you need to have a, a pre-mini education uh, so that when he speaks about it, you go, ah, I know what Master Shah is talking about. And so uh, our finances could have Shen Qi Jing blockages. What is a Shen Qi Jing blockage? It is a soul blockage, a heart blockage, a mind blockage, an energy blockage, a matter blockage. Money is made up of matter. But you have heard before that money is just an energy. It is just a form of exchange. Okay? You do a service or another, they do a service for you. That is an exchange. And so it's an exchange when heaven's currency, heaven's virtue comes to us in the physical world. That's an exchange of virtue to matter. It's an exchange of soul to matter. Uh, hence the name of the book, Soul Over Matter. So in order to convert the soul currency of virtue to the physical currency of matter, we must understand the nature of Shen, Qi, and Jing. So soul is the leader of the heart. Heart is the leader of the mind. What makes up Shen? Uh, soul, heart, mind. Soul leads the heart, heart leads the mind. If, if, if uh, uh, the mind agrees to the heart, then the mind will direct the energy. The energy will direct the matter and bring forth the manifestation. So you have, uh, if you're watching this, it's very likely you have tuned into manifestation principles, uh, mind over matter. Um, there's many different teachings that if you focus on it, you believe it, it will come. Chances are you probably have, and it probably has not come. So we, we have to recognize that mind over matter does not always work. And according to the principles that Master Shah brings to us, one of the reasons why is because of the spiritual debt blockages, the karma blockages, which are Shen Qi Jing energy blockages. So we must remove the Shen Qi Jing blockages, the karma blockages, before our creative visualizations can bring forth that manifestation, before the heaven's virtue can turn into matter at the physical world. Make sense? Good. So welcome to all the folks that have just joined us in the last 10 or so minutes. Welcome Susan, uh, welcome Kate, welcome Magdalena, welcome Rosenberg, and Alicia. If anybody else has missed you, please forgive me. Thank you for hitting the share button. Let other people know about this. Very few people running across Facebook will not appreciate wisdom, teachings, blessings, and practices on financial flourishing. <clears throat> and so, how do we clear these kinds of blockages? Well, let's see what Master Shah has to say. I am in the Soul Over Matter book, which you can purchase through Amazon or any other place, and uh, highly recommend it because this is his most recent book, which means it has the highest blessings placed into it. Not a small thing. Okay, I'm on chapter six. Good karma, excuse me, uh, the title. Create good karma to transform your finances. How can you create good karma? You have learned that bad karma 
can be created from body, mouth, and thoughts. Thinking unpleasant things, speaking unpleasant things, and actually doing actions that go against service to others. This creates the bad karma. Another ancient spiritual statement teaches us how to create good karma. Uh, hua yu san shou, chao shao wei miao. What this means is, there are three ways to say something. The artful way is profound. Watch what you say. Say it with love. Say it with compassion. When you say it any other way, you create spiritual debt. So be more careful about how you say things. So this ancient phrase is, again, there are three ways to say things. Say things, saying things the artful way is profound. Think before you blurt out that unpleasant statement or judgment or criticism or speak out your thoughts. This is how you w open the waste and allow heavens to come through. Each time you, you, um, you be more correct in your thoughts. You are doing multiple things. It's not just that you are um, keeping yourself from generating karma. People around you are paying attention, whether you know it or not. And when you say something with love, understanding, and compassion, instead of hurt, malice, anger, or whatever else might be trying to fly out your mouth, you are being witnessed by the children, uh, by other people around, could be brothers, sisters, parents, who knows. And that witnessing then creates a butterfly effect. They see that that carries love. They see that that message was soft and pure and uh, uh, beneficial for the recipient. And you have now not you have now created additional good karma because they will witness that and say, you know what? I am going to learn to speak more uh, uh, beautifully to those that I connect with. This is how we can stop ourselves from creating karma and in that same one way we express, create less, uh, more virtue, which is going to widen the waste, create more good stuff to come in. Very simple teachings, very profound teachings, and ancient teachings. Master Shah says, I didn't invent this, this is ancient teachings. But we need to understand, we see the three monkeys, speak no evil, hear no evil, think no evil. What does that mean? This is the deeper understanding of it. Um, speaking has two sides, like yin and yang. You can speak properly and well, or you can speak improperly and not well. If you speak properly with love, care, and compassion, you, you could make people happy. You could inspire them. You could move and touch them with your hearts. You create good karma. If you speak improperly, rudely, or disrespectfully, you can make people upset or sad, and you create bad karma. The wisdom is very simple. To create good karma is to have good actions, good speech, and good thoughts. So be more conscientious moving forward. This is called being responsible for the flow that comes to us. It is easy to understand how good and bad karma are created. Think again about your daily life. On some days you are very happy and loving and speaking with kindness and respect. And other days you find yourself speaking disrespectfully or badly of others or thinking it. Every time you do something, every time you think something, be responsible. He goes on to say, how do you know whether you are creating good karma or bad karma? Let me share a one sentence secret about creating bad karma. If what you do, what you speak, and what you think benefit only yourself. Criticism. Who is that benefiting? Yourself. Why? Because it's lifting you up above them. It's saying, I am better than them. It's saying that I am superior to them. That's what criticism judgment does. You think it, it is negative karma. You are creating it just by placing yourself higher. Everyone and everything is equal from God's eyes. So we have to pay attention to these simple things. In every aspect of life, this ruler to measure what you do and what you speak and what you think, you will avoid bad karma when you ask this question. The question again, 
If what I do, what I speak, and what I think is only benefiting me, then I'm creating bad karma. We might not think that just a negative thought is benefiting us, but it is. It's allowing us to maintain our ego. It's allowing us to, to stay in a superior position instead of offering love, compassion, forgiveness, and light. We have to be self-responsible. The best way, one sentence secret, the best way to create good karma is to offer unconditional universal service through every aspect of life. To create good karma, first purify your heart. The heart houses the mind and the soul. To purify your soul, heart, mind, and body in every aspect of life is to follow this key principle. Create good karma by making others happier and healthier by what you think, what you speak, and what you do. If your actions are selfish, you're not creating good karma. If your actions, thoughts, words are making anybody around you happier and healthier, a smile makes people happier and healthier. The way you speak could make people happier and healthier. Your choice of actions could make people happier and healthier. That is the simplest version of how to create good karma I've ever heard of. How many of us get stuck in the word service? I don't have time to serve. I don't know what to do. How do I serve? We have children we are responsible for. How do we teach them to serve? We teach them this very simple teaching. How to speak with love and compassion. How to not think in unpleasant ways about others, to not create separatism by our thoughts, words, or actions, to not place. If we teach our children to not place themselves higher than another by a criticism or a judgment, and they start duplicating that, that wisdom, what are the other children around them going to start duplicating? Their souls of the other children know what is right. They then are creating multiple layers of good karma. You are creating an ancestral rift in which the entire ancestral tree can have positivity moving forward. Great flourishing and abundance for greater service. Humanity is in deep doo-doo because we have moved away from being loving in our thoughts, in our words, and in our actions. If this is all each of us focused on, literally within one generation, the entirety of humanity could be saved and we could be all of these other things could be completely wiped out. All of the, the war, all the stuff, all the selfishness, all that would just be wiped away because it would simply not be tolerated. It would simply not, uh, people would naturally move towards speaking in the, in the highest and best way since that would be the, um, the, the natural way of doing things. And those that were not, they would simply be um, taken to places where they would be taught how to accomplish that with love. This is in, entirely possible in our lifetime. And it starts with one person at a time, just waking up to something like this. Okay? Anger burns virtue. This is a teaching, right, from Master Shah's book. Anger burns virtue. So what can we do to serve others? Well, we talked about how to do it by, by watching our thoughts, our words, and our actions. But on the physical level, here are some examples. Donate to the poor. David K Kilobama is watching today. Uh, if you scroll through, you'll see him on there. He is an amazing soul. He's, he works out of Africa and he takes in orphan children. He was an orphan himself, uh, an AIDS orphan, uh, parents gone. And he realized how struggling it was. And so he has scraped and worked as hard as he could to be able to help other children. And, and he goes on Facebook and he asks for help. Uh, and I was one of those that took a while to, to, is this man real? He's an amazing, beautiful soul. So there's a way we can serve, right? A little $5, $10 donation, whatever. All these different ways that we can serve. Uh, build homes, schools, hospitals. Support proper spiritual organizations and teachers with time or money. Serve world peace through various organizations, movements, and activities. The lovepeaceharmony.org, uh, lovepeaceharmony.org. It's a nonprofit service to humanity. 
Um, serve the elderly, the sick, and the homeless. Serve those who have suffered from accidents or disasters. Help and empower others to succeed. That is service. Helping another power uh, others to succeed. Teaching them this wisdom that you're learning now. Uh, sharing with our children, our, our peers, all those around us. Um, Teaching others to heal themselves is a service. How do you teach others to heal themselves? You teach them love, you teach them forgiveness. Very simple. Teach them to watch the thoughts, words, or actions. You think that's not healing? Of course it is. Because as you teach them these same simple things, love, forgiveness, watch your thoughts, watch your words, watch your actions, be uh, 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 of service to others, smile more. Those very simple teachings create more and more positive virtue, which offsets the spiritual debt that could be causing them to suffer at the physical or emotional level. Well, a very simple sharing of this wisdom with others could teach them to self-heal. This is an example of service. Another example, teaching others to practice kindness, love, caring, forgiveness, and compassion. How do you teach others? You don't just sit down and teach them. You observe what they do, and in the right timing, you share with them, I observed this action, and I wish to offer you something that could assist you so that the reaction that you witnessed would not occur moving forward. And you share with them love and forgiveness as a simple example. Um, you could help develop pub public projects to benefit other people. You could show respect to everyone. Even if they have a differing thought order opinion, People very often do not agree with my, I shouldn't say very often, but I would say often enough, don't agree with, with these live streams. Why? They have mindsets, they have beliefs, they have things that they have built their foundations on, and I may say something that butts up against that foundation of belief, and all of a sudden they go negative. Now, I understand that they don't have the same belief systems or understandings that I'm sharing. I never ask anybody to have those perspectives. But at the same time, um, we, we need to have respect for everyone's, uh, uh, wherever they're coming from. And when we have that respect, they can say, uh, for example, if I say something that bothers them, they could say in their own head, if you have somebody else that bothers you by what they say, you could say, I don't agree with that based on what I understand. I may choose to turn this off, but I'm not going to be critical and judge them because A, I know that's going to uh, bring negative karma to me, and B, maybe I don't have enough information with what they're sharing could be of value to me at some point in time. So I'm going to avoid that. That is a respectful way to be to people. And we could be that way to everybody to, to maintain um, the highest possibility of receiving more flourishing and the greatest possibility of not creating spiritual debt. This is great wisdom, Master Shah, and, and this other gentleman, Adam Markel, has brought to us. So to summarize, before we go into the, teach, to the blessings, because that's next, to summarize the what, why, and how of one's financial condition. Wealth is due to good karma from past lifetimes and this lifetime. Next bullet, a wealthy person who continues to offer good service, which we just gave you many examples of, to humanity will continue to enjoy, will continue to enjoy financial abundance in this and in future lifetimes. Next bullet point, a wealthy person who creates bad karma will lose his or her financial abundance. Next one, financial challenges are due to bad karma from past lifetimes and this lifetime. Financial challenges can be transformed by creating good karma through unconditional universal service. And the last bullet point to create good karma is to earn good virtue and receive heaven's flowers, which are spiritual currency. Spiritual currency in the spiritual world can transform to money in the physical world, okay? So to summarize in one sentence, transform the spiritual virtue bank account first, then transformation of the physical bank account will follow. Alter the Shin Chi Jing blockages through our thoughts, words, and actions, and the Heaven's bank account becomes more and more filled. The 
the gap that keeps it from flowing down to us, the, the narrow waist of the, um, of the uh, uh, hourglass widens and more and more flourishing comes to us. Okay? And then, okay. So now let us move to a huge blessing. Oh, this is so huge, okay? Master Shah has placed in his books what is called divine transmissions. They are extraordinary transmissions. In this book, he has placed one called a Tao transmission, which is beyond extraordinary. He has placed two of them in there, and there are different layers of frequency. There is golden, and the next layer is rainbow. So to be able to get a Tao transmission and a rainbow transmission is truly beyond extraordinary. The highest transmissions that anyone can receive are for the top two things that melt blockages, all blockages. Love melts all blockages, forgiveness melts all blockages, because a lack of those is what continues the karma wheel. It is a lack of love and a lack of forgiveness that creates wrong thoughts, words, and actions. And when we create wrong thoughts, words, and actions, we create time with the karmic wheel. In order to stop the wheel of karma and go live with God on a perennial basis, never ever ever having to come back again, we must stop the wheel. And we stop it with love and forgiveness, okay? Forgiving all those, forgiving ourselves and all those that have brought harm or suffering to us in all lifetimes and asking for forgiveness. And then of course love. So the highest two transmissions anyone can receive is love and forgiveness. And Master Shah, such an unconditional servant to humanity, willingly uh, of his own heart, puts this transmission in this book. So uh, I'm going to offer this to each of you listening and watching, and you will receive this transmission. So what does that mean that you will receive this? This means that it's kind of like, think of, think of it like your soul gets this massive golden light ball, comes and comes to your soul, and ex allows your soul to expand 10,000 times brighter than it could on its own. That's the power of this transmission. And all you have to do is turn it on like a light switch. All you have to do is say, dear the soul of these transmissions for love and forgiveness that I have received, please turn on. As I offer service, please offer your love, your forgiveness to others. As I chant for forgiveness, please bless me to release as many blockages to love and forgiveness as possible. This is creating more virtue in your virtue bank account dramatically faster than you and I can do it on our own. Such a benevolent soul, Master Shah, is to give us these kinds of, of power to assist us. We can, by the way, use these to offer blessings. So for example, you have a child. The child has pain or suffering. Dear the soul of the Tao rainbow love transmission that I received, because it's with you forever, please turn on. Please offer a blessing to my beloved child for whatever they're experiencing, right? And you just chant Tao love or divine love. You can chant Tao love rainbow light ball, which is what it is. Tao love rainbow light ball blesses this beautiful child. You repeat it 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes. That child will tell you, because they don't lie, I feel very, very good now. Thank you. That's the power of this transmission, and you're about to receive it. Okay? So sit up straight, prepare to receive. If, by the way, you are not interested in receiving, this is not something that uh, you're, you, uh, you're not sure about, that's okay. You just say, Dear Heaven, I'm not interested in receiving. Thank you. <clears throat> Give me one minute. How? Prepare to receive. Tao rainbow light ball, rainbow liquid spring of Tao love, soul, mind, body, transplant to everybody that has agreed to receive watching 
on Facebook and listening to the podcasts as appropriate. Transmission! Repeat after me. Dear my Tao rainbow light ball, please turn on. Please bless me to release financial blockages, mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs. I'm very, very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Prepare to receive the second blessing. This one is huge, I'm telling you guys. These, these, these are priceless, just priceless. Prepare. Tao, rainbow light ball, and rainbow liquid spring of Tao forgiveness, soul, mind, body transplants. To all those that are watching at this time, to all those that will listen at any time in the future, as appropriate. Transmission! Turn on 24-7. Transmission! For both uh, both transmissions. Transmission. Um, please repeat after me. Dear the Tao, Rainbow Light Ball, and Rainbow Liquid Spring. Dear the Tao, Rainbow Light Ball, and Rainbow Liquid Spring of Tao Love and Tao Forgiveness. Soul, Mind, Body Transplants. I love you, honor you, deeply appreciate you. Please turn on. And as I do this practice with Master Paul, or any time that I do this practice, please bless my request as appropriate. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So now we will chant to serve. So we're going to do the four powers. Continue to sit up straight. Uh, for the body power, uh, put one hand on your lower abdomen, one hand over your heart center. Again, very relaxed. We are now going to use these transmissions to clear our blockages. All right? We will employ soul power. For the sound power, we will chant Da I and Da Quan Shu, which is the greatest love and the greatest forgiveness. We will also chant divine, uh, Tao Love and Tao Forgiveness. We will chant that as well. Those would be the sound powers. But I will now do the soul power. Uh, as appropriate, if it is comfortable, please repeat after me. Dear all, Jing Chi Shen, of every human being, of every business, that my ancestors, I, and our businesses have hurt or harmed in this or any lifetime and in previous lifetimes. Including financial imbalances. We, I and my ancestors, deeply apologize. Please forgive us. We know in our hearts that to only ask for forgiveness is not enough that we have to serve. To serve is to make others happier and healthier. We will offer more humanitarian service. We will chant and meditate more. We will serve unconditionally. Thank you so much. Dear everyone and everything that has hurt or harmed my ancestors, my finances, or our businesses, and myself in this and all lifetimes. I totally forgive you. I forgive you all unconditionally. Continue. Dear the Source, dear Heaven and Mother Earth, dear the Tao Source Calligraphies of Da I and Da Quan Shu, the greatest love and greatest forgiveness. Please forgive me and my ancestors 
for our finances and businesses for all of our mistakes that we have made related to finances and business in this and all lifetimes. I am extremely honored and grateful. I know in my heart that only to ask for forgiveness is not enough, that I have to serve, serve and serve. I cannot serve enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So visualize golden light surrounding your whole body, clearing the blockages, and we will now chant. You have already turned on the Tao Love and Tao Forgiveness Rainbow Light Ball. Visualize, if you desire, rainbow light surrounding your entire body. Let us begin. Die, greatest love. Da Quan Shu, greatest forgiveness. Repeat. Da I, greatest love. Da Quan Shu, greatest forgiveness. Da I, greatest love. Da Quan Shu, greatest forgiveness. Da I. Da Quan Shu, greatest love, greatest forgiveness. And I will trace these very special calligraphies on each of your behalf. Da I, greatest love. And Da Quan Shu, greatest forgiveness. Da I, Da Quan Shu, greatest forgiveness. Greatest forgiveness. Sorry, it's hard for me to, to keep straight the chanting. Da I, greatest love. Da Quan Shu, greatest forgiveness. Da I, Da Quan Shu, greatest love. Greatest forgiveness. Da I, Da Quan Shu. Greatest love. Greatest forgiveness. Da I, Da Quan Shu. Greatest love, greatest forgiveness. Da I, Da Quan Shu. Greatest love, greatest forgiveness. Da I. Da Quan Shu, greatest love, greatest forgiveness. Da I, Da Quan Shu, greatest love, greatest forgiveness. Repeat, dear all souls, that I have harmed finances, please forgive me, please forgive me. Dear all souls, if I have harmed your finances, 
Please forgive me. Please forgive my ancestors, dear all souls, if you have harmed my finances. I forgive you. Please forgive me, dear all souls, if you have harmed my ancestors' finances. I forgive you. Please forgive us, dear all souls. We forgive you. Please forgive us. We forgive each other. Da I Da Quan Shu Greatest Love Greatest Forgiveness. Da I Da Quan Chu Greatest Love Greatest Forgiveness Three more times Da I Da Quan Chu Greatest Love Greatest forgiveness. Da I, Da Quan Chu. Greatest love, greatest forgiveness. Da I, Da Quan Chu. Greatest love, greatest forgiveness. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let us bow our head nine times to the deepest gratitude for the treasures we have received, for the blessings we have received, for the forgiveness that we have received and the love that we have received. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Extraordinary blessings. If you want to release more than what we have accomplished in this short practice, then repeat the practice. You can watch this video or listen to the podcast again and do the practice until you're comfortable with it. You can purchase the book Silver Matter from anywhere that sells books and you can use the, the calligraphies to quadruple 100,000 times the power of what you want to accomplish. Be consistent is the key. You do one hour a day of practicing like this, you will see results. For those that would like to have re, uh, a blessing to, as appropriate, remove negative mindsets, negative attitudes, negative beliefs that are inhibiting you from flourishing in every area and from flourishing, excuse me, in your finances, that crown chakra is available. It's only a hundred. And the purpose of that is to help bring forth the manifestation because I know that all of you are good servants. I already know that. You wouldn't be watching this if you weren't a servant oriented to the highest and best for everyone. And it's not that you uh, are not doing good things. It's that the consistency of that coming to your life is inhibiting you from being positive in your focus. It is inhibiting you from from maintaining a positivity. So the constancy of the negativity has built in such an expectation for it on a, on a uh, uh, consistent, you don't even know that that's happening in the background because that's what keeps landing in front of you. And so this will, will remove those kinds of mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs. And you'll be much more easily able to maintain a positive mindset, positive attitude, and positive belief. And as you practice everything else that was shared here today, you will definitely uh, level up 
Little by little, the more the practice, the greater the blessing. She received extraordinary transmissions. You, all you need to do is get these, these, these calligraphies in front of you. You do, you know, 30 minutes, a half hour a day following this practice, you will absolutely receive the benefits. Okay, no question. It just requires a, a bit of faith and, and can some consistency, but you will receive the benefits, okay? So feel free to contact me um, through my Facebook Messenger or my email, asoulhealer at yahoo.com. You can go to my website as well, um, asoulhealer.com, and um, I'm happy to serve everybody the, uh, for any of these Crown Chakra blessings. Um, uh, if you have any questions also about anything, just, just message me. I'm happy to serve you. So I will see you on the weekend. Reminder, I do the energy practices uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So tomorrow, uh, one hour before this live stream starts, which would be 1 o'clock uh, Hawaii time, 4 o'clock Pacific time, uh, 7 p.m. in uh, Eastern time, you can come to uh, my, my energy practices. Um, go to my website scroll down the first page you'll see it talked about there and you'll see the free call in number from anywhere in the world it's a free phone call just about anywhere in the world go to my website asoulhealer.com scroll down the opening home page and you'll see the energy practices and from there you can join them from anywhere in the world love you love you love you thank you thank you thank you we'll see you next week if not on tomorrow's energy practices all beings of light, please respectfully return. Gong song, gong song, gong song. Bye bye, everybody. Mahalo.